Nothing's boring with Wrexham as the Cinderella story of last year has moved into the difficult second act of staying in the EFL this season. 13 goals conceded so far in the league haven't made pretty reading for Phil Parkinson's defence. At least this side is firing all cylinders up front with 13 goals coming back the other way and just one loss so far this campaign. Today's host Barrow are looking to pick off the EFL returnees as they attempt to bounce back from their first league loss of the campaign last week against Stockport with Peter Wilde's side starting well in sixth after four games. It's a lovely threaded ball. It's gone to by Mendy. Cleared away for a corner. Whipped in towards that central part of the penalty area and it's a delicate header that caused problems for Farman. The home side clear their lines and just about deal with the danger, but it's a bright start. Coming from the away side. Boyle doing his best to fight onto that ball and direct that header towards goal. Ball over the top. Palmer trying to keep it alive, goes down inside the box. Penalty given. Palmer fighting his way onto this one. Gets caught by the defender outside of the box and then dragged down by Warren inside it. And the official pointing to the spot. Elliot Lee. Five goals this season. Are the floodgates going to open going forward once again for Wrexham this afternoon? 12 minutes in, they have the breakthrough. And Lee adds to his brace from that 5-5 thriller against Swindon with the opener. Neatly tucked away, no chance for Farman. And the visitors are looking to continue their scoring streak. Here's the goal scorer. Boyle back inside. Connor gets it back at his feet. Patient in their build-up play. Boyle, it's a beautiful thread around the back line and very well stopped by Farman. Smothering the danger as Bickerstaff was played in by that delightful through ball. Lee. Mendy, once again the red shirts just holding possession, holding firm just on the edge of the attacking third. Great ball over the top of Palmer once again. Well, they're finding that very narrow gap between goalkeeper and defensive line and dropping it into some perfect positions. Palmer's touch just saw it run away from him slightly and he couldn't keep the effort down. Tosa, so much room to steady himself and send it in. Ford gets it back. Not too quick to send it back into the mixer, but plenty waiting patiently. Lovely touch from Tosa, the centre back. And Palmer's effort stinging the palms of Farman. Safely collected by the Barrow keeper. It's one way traffic right now, though. Wrexham need to find another to extend their advantage. That one, not going to beat the 33-year-old keeper. Proctor holds off two, but gives the ball away. Lee ignites the attack. Looking to get back onto it, the goal scorer, free kick's been given anyway. Clipped into the 18-yard box and a beautiful header all the way across goal. No one could find the touch and Tyrrell Warren just for a moment unsure what to do at that back post. Rare venture into enemy territory. Haven't produced anything to really test Mark Howard so far, the home side. This is a better spell that Warren. And that's not going to test Howard, is it? Worth a go, but 
but always dragging it well wide of the target. It's been a tough watch so far for those home supporters. Could get tougher too. What has been the team talk at half-time from Peter Wire, the Barrow boss? Has he been able to galvanise his side here for the second half? Spence brings it under control. Wasn't the intended target, but does well to keep the move alive. Trying to make himself available off the ball too. Morrill goes short. White beautifully worked. Spence sent it across. Well, it's the best move that Barrow have produced so far today. But there was just no final touch. Intricate one-touch football around the 18-yard box. So difficult to deal with. Well won in the middle of the park. Lovely touch away to get it away from Young. Worrell gives it short. And there's a fair few coming forward to support the attack kit. Oh, beautifully finished. Emil Aqua, his first chance of the game. And he takes it with conviction. Three and four in the league for the 23-year-old. How about this for a finish? Just opens up his body enough to guide it past the keeper. It's their first real shot on goal. But it's also the one that gives them an equaliser. Against the run of play, but they all count. Of course, one of their first two games of the campaign did Barrett. Looking to find that winning feeling once again, and they've got Wrexham on their heels right now. Shot takes a deflection on the way through. It's Kean Spence has woken up after the first half break. Second 45 minutes is looking like it could be profitable for him and his side. Phil Parkinson watching on. Not too animated down there on the touchline. Certainly can show his emotions. So he won't be too pleased with what he's seen from his side in this second period. Giving the ball away again here. Telford gets it out into that wide right position. It's a cracking ball towards the back post. Proctor can't finish it off. In so much space, the big number nine. Didn't quite get the connection he wanted. And Howard beats it away. O'Connell brings it out from the back. Checking hide like performance right now for Wrexham compared to the first 45 minutes. Could change though. That last touch, that last bit of quality in the attacking third just now isn't coming for them. Chances are few and far between. No supporters just enjoying the ride. Tidy in the centre of the field, Dalby with a touch of quality to ignite the move and looking to keep it going as well. And there once more is that last bit of crispness. And Barnett approaching on this near sideline, but the ball was neither really to him nor anybody else waiting in the area. And enough bodies back for Barrow to deal with the danger. idea trying to thread it through time ticking away and time runs out on as even in the end for Barrow and Wrexham this afternoon a hard-fought battle that was certainly the away side's momentum in the first 45 minutes spearheading them on Phil Parkinson frustrated and getting booked after talking to the officials after the full-time whistle and finishes here Barrow won Wrexham won
a great, not a great rep, but not incorrect. Oh yeah, sorry, I can get much for full time. I know, it's all good. 